I would be replacing the screen. Well, the new screen came in today, so I'm going to be taking this apart and uh, cleaning the inside because there was that hair there and like a few other grimy parts. And um, I'm going to be switching the screens out because this one has a lot of damage to it and uh, I think it needs to be replaced. So let's go ahead and open it for us. Before you even, um, let's get the battery out. And there is going to be two screws on the top that you undo, nice and easy. I would put the screws in the uh, battery cap. They're not going to go anywhere from there. So here we go with the second top one. These are very well screwed in, if I do say so myself. So that gives me a little bit more comfort when uh, screwing this back on. Okay, so the top two screws are off and you have uh, four screws here. So we're going to go ahead and undo those. Those are the top two for the left side of the PSP. So those are gonna be for over there. I'm gonna build a little build map so I'm not confused. So the small screws go on top here. And the other screws go on to the left side. And now you got these three ones here, or sorry, two ones. All right. Oh, here it fell. All right, and it popped out. Now the last one is gonna be right here at the bottom. These are very well-placed screws, so. It's gonna be nice replacing the screen though. All right, so we got all the screws off and what you're gonna do is kind of just wiggle, uh, wiggle it off like this as you can see here, and you're going to need to get the buttons out as well. Cool. So we separated uh, this, you know, the front facing shell from the main unit. All right, this can just use a bunch of cleaning. I'm going to move the screws so they don't go bananas. Move the screen, move the screwdriver, and here's the main unit. So let's just give it a bit of a dust thing. There is this little latch that you see here, you see that? So what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna pry it off its hinges right here easily. So after you get it hinged off, it should uh, just kind of slowly kind of come off on the other side. So look, look at that. So you'll see that there's a ribbon cable. Just leave it there. Um, the next step will be to get this screen off, pry it off by from this side, and it'll kind of come off of the unit here. So just easily kind of just one by one. I happen to pop the screen off and all you gotta do is just kind of work it off easily. And uh, we're gonna fold it back over here. So there are two little prongs that you have to unleash or you have to unlock uh, before you can even um, get the screen out. So there is one right here. So I just undid a latch over here. So there's a little mini door right there. You just gotta be careful because you will snap it back if you uh, press too hard. And then here's another one. Okay, so I just used my fingernail to get it. So basically what's gonna happen now 
is it's going to slide out just like that. Now you have the old uh, screen here. Now let's go ahead and start working on putting the new screen on. I needed to uh, come a little bit closer to the table because uh, this is going to be very precise. So I'm going to just do a little bit of a clean on it. So uh, there's no specs or anything. So before I even put it back on or, you know, kind of ram it back into the uh, PSP itself, um, what you're going to need to do, we'll get this little foam covering, covering here. You're going to put it back in the same way you took it out. So you have your new screen here. And remember those latching doors that you saw? So what you're going to do is kind of line it up. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. All right, so we finally got it to work, thank God. Um, there is a dead pixel, but um, <laughs> it looks fine by me. It actually looks like a good, healthy screen. Um, and I'm not going to go through this process again. So this is one and done for me. I'm not going to go ahead and go out of my way to order a new screen. So I'm going to get this more cleaned up and then I'm going to, um, you know, move the, all the buttons and everything back on again. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to use one of those, uh, Zeiss glass cleaners. Uh, these are very nice for screens and stuff like that. So, uh, give your screen a good rub down. So there is a rubber ceiling around the screen, uh, the old screen, and I'm gonna attempt to remove it so that I can put it on the new one. So basically this prevents dust and grime getting in. So I'm gonna slowly but surely remove it inch by inch. My God, how do people do this? I mean, I'm doing a pretty good job, I would say, so far. So far, so good. What do you think? Am I doing okay? Let me know down in the comments. Oh my god, that was not fun at all. Anyway, the screen stuff is on. Let's go ahead and put the uh, other stuff back on as well. Both sides are clean, so let's go ahead and add it back on here. And there's a, oh, there, not really. Everything just has to click back into place, so. Here we are with our new, uh, cool, no specs inside, and let's go ahead and screw everything back on. All right, so I just replaced the screen, and you can see that there's no more water damage. It looks so much better, um, and it absolutely makes a world of difference. Um, you will find probably that there are some pixel, dead pixels. There's one right there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's right behind uh, the words, so it's not really that noticeable. But there, uh, that's just one of the common things with replacing these screens. So just something to be aware of, but it's not really that much of a deal breaker, honestly.